Hello students, in this video we'll show the operation of addition is commutative on the natural numbers. So our theorem is that n plus m is equal to m plus n for any m and n in n. So we're going to fix n. Our proof will proceed by the following route. Let's fix m and consider the set m, which is the set of all n in n, such that what? Such that n plus m is equal to m plus n. Okay. Now, to prove this proposition, we're going to need to recall the construction of addition, right? So we're going to recall from our previous video, so recall two things. So recall that the A operation was defined by the following facts. The first fact that we had for the operation was that A of n in 1 was going to be s and the successor of n. That's one thing that was always true for this addition operation n. So in other words, n plus 1 is always equal to the successor of n. We also had, when n was equal to 1, how did we define addition? Addition was defined uniquely by this relationship that a of n in any value, m or k or whatever, so a of any value over here, in particular we can say it's true for m, so a for any value k was defined how? Was defined as just the successor of k. Now what this tells us over here, in particular, this tells us, so in particular I can plug in over here, I can plug in n equals 1, right? So this is always true. And so next, so to prove this for uh, prove this result for n equals 1, what would I need to show? I would need to show that 1 plus m is equal to m plus 1. Okay, so what this relationship is, this is true for any m, so in particular we have that m plus 1 is equal to s of m. And then this relationship over here implies that what? This is 1 plus k. So when n is equal to 1, this tells me that 1 plus k is the successor of k for any values of k. So in particular, this is true when k is equal to m. So that 1 plus m is equal to the successor of m. Now, m plus 1 is equal to the successor of m, and 1 plus m is equal to the successor of m. So that tells us that 1 plus m is equal to m plus 1, and that tells us that 1 is in this set m. So 1 is in the set M. Beautiful. So again, we needed to use the property of addition and then the defining definition of addition when n is equal to 1 to establish that 1 is in this set. So 1 plus any natural number is that natural number plus 1. So in other words, I can interchange the successor and put the successor in any way I want. The second property, now let's suppose that n is in M. So suppose that n is in m. And so what does that tell us? That tells us that n plus m is equal to m plus n, or equivalently, using our notation, that a of n and m is equal to a of m and n. Now, how is our operation defined for the successor? So recall now, so back to our construction, from our construction, by construction, We know that a of s n m was s of a and m n. That was how we defined addition on the successor by our construction of addition. So now we know that n is an m, so this relationship is true. So now let me look at what? I need to look at the sum of, I need to look at a of s n. Now a of s n in m. Well, by construction, what will this be? That by construction, by definition, this is s of a and n m. But now I know that a of n m is a of m n, so this is s of a of m and n. And now, what can we do? We can put the successor on the n. So what we'd like to show, we'd like to show that um, m plus sn is the same. So this is exactly equal to a of m and sn. And what does this tell us? This tells us that sn plus m over here is equal to m plus sn, and that tells us that sn is in m. And so now by induction, m is equal to n. And so by induction, 
m is equal to n, and therefore addition is commutative on the natural numbers. Thank you very much.